Greetings folks, I am a lucky boy. I have a Sonic Model HD wing to play with from Banggood. Now this Sonic Model HD wing has uh, been around for quite a few years under different names. Uh, Ready Made RC called it the Mako. Uh, Hobby, Hobby King rebranded it as the Sky Ray, but it is actually the Sonic Model HD wing. Sonic Model makes this wing, I believe. It's a, what is it, about a 1.1 metre wingspan FPV wing, and apparently it's got lots and lots of space in the fuselage for FPV gear. Perfect size FPV wing for medium range cruising around. Let's open it up and have a look. So it's all out of the box now. First, let's start with the wings. They look very nice. They're quite uh, small. Uh, wing area, I would say, but they've got a very nice, thick, and unique looking airfoil with inbuilt reflex. That looks like a properly designed wing airfoil to me. Looks like it would fly fast. Ailerons just need to be freed up there. I'll just do that with my finger. Hinges. Well, I've seen worse hinges. Yeah, no, they're pretty good actually. I could fly them without reinforcing them, but um, I probably will reinforce them anyway. But the foam is quite nice and stiff too. Yeah, that's good. Two wings, we've got a big nose cone to go on there. Uniquely, we also have the alternative of having a, a clear dome nose cone. And there's sort of the, the different cowling for the nose cone, I guess. Uh, I, I'm unlikely to use this clear nose cone. I've, I've never liked that on the front of a plane. The way I fly them, they uh, get scratched up pretty quickly. Um, I'm more likely just to use the normal nose. And we get a spare one of them as well, so that, that's a very nice touch. I like that. A couple of winglets that uh, get screwed onto the wing there. Let's have a look at the main fuselage. We get lots of reinforcing ply in here. Joining bits, plastic brackets, magnets, push rods and control horns. They look reasonable. Now we get some little landing skids and things, a bit of Velcro. Uh, the body also comes apart like that, so we're going to be doing some gluing, I guess. Uh, motor mount disc there, that looks okay to me. Interestingly, we get four props, a couple of 6x4s and a couple of 7x5s. We'll work out uh, which power system we use them on later on might be 4S and 3S. It is too. 6x4 on 4S, 7x5 on 3S. That is very good indeed. A couple of very lightweight servos. Uh, well, you can use them if you want to. I've got plenty of um, Metal Gear servos hanging around, so I'm going to put my own Metal Gear servos in. I mean, it'll be fine, you'll be able to fly with them, and they'd probably strip after a few crashes, but if you're careful, they'd be fine. And we have a motor, Sonic Model 2217 2000KV motor. Yeah, that looks good, with a, a nice, uh, solid prop adapter, rather than the Colette style, which is excellent. And a Beals 40 amp ESC. 2S to 4S. Get a really decent instruction manual with nice nice photos and instructions. That's very good. These things cost a reasonable amount of money to produce. And some decals. And I'm not usually a decal man, but uh, I kind of like the look of these ones. I might even put them on. Very good. Let's start putting it together. I just noticed in trying to fit the wings together that it, it has these little tabs here which don't fit into anything so they've just got to be sliced off like that so that will actually butt up nicely to the fuselage. Fuselage is in two halves so we need to glue them together and for that sort of area I'd use something like a uh, u pour or uh, foam contact glue and at the same time we'll glue the uh, motor mount in as well. We want to make sure we don't get any glue in these channels here so that we can uh, slide the spar in and out. And we also have some uh, reinforcing ply here which fits there like that for battery mounting I guess, camera mounting there. 
Uh, and also I, I really like these little um, flat areas they've provided with covers so you can mount uh, receiver, video transmitter, flight control board, whatever. Uh, and they're all, they've all got little covers if you don't want to use them too. Nice touch Sonic model. So we have to glue the fuselage together. Oh, actually another thing I like is this sort of how the motor sits right out away from the wings. That gives it nice airflow and uh, makes it a lot quieter too. If the prop is spinning right near the uh, trailing edge of the wing, it gets very noisy. I really, really don't like noisy models. So uh, this is going to be nice and quiet, I reckon. Apparently we don't need to glue the winglets on, they just screw on underneath. Uh, I think it may actually be a good idea to glue them on, but uh, we'll reassess that when we get to it. These little landing skegs that fit uh, glue onto the bottom also have little moulding tabs there that need to be cut off. Seems to be the way they fit. Yeah, I like that. All right, I'll just let them dry a little bit now and then put them back to glue them on. That's very good. It'll sit nice and flat now so I can glue the other one in. I've sanded up all these surfaces, so just remembering to stay away from the uh, spar area. And the motor mount area as well. Spreading the glue evenly everywhere. Let it dry a little bit and put it back together. Should be right now. Looking good. We've actually got another little, just a, a moulding tab there, which I think we can cut off. And it serves no purpose. Make sure our spar is still going to fit through. Perfect. So these are some Turnergy 9018 Metal Gear servos, which I had lying around. Now we have a little punch out here, which goes through to the bottom. Cable will push through there. That'll just get hot glued into position, just about like that. And we'll lay the servo cable down in the groove there.
So that's on the outer hole of the servo and the control horn and that's well, a lot more throw than you need. Probably really only use that much. So I might move it to an inner hole on the servo. Now I've hit a small but very annoying snag. The screws that go through here, 20mm screws fit there. These ones need 25mm screws but they only provide 20mm, uh, which don't fit. So I've found something that does work. These 20mm M3 bolts actually work, whereas the screws don't work. So let's go with that. Yeah, that's biting down nicely and closing it up very securely, that's good. Now to bolt the fins on, we get these little T-piece, T-plastic piece that fits in there and we've got a plastic bit underneath and it just screws through there. They say you don't need to glue it on. Alright, so I'm going to set it up with the 3S prop, which is 7x5, get the right prop adapter. Uh, I put it on the balancer and it was pretty well balanced out of the box so I'll just pop it straight on. It's a reverse threaded nut which is a bit confusing. Confusing nylon nut. And I'll do a dynamic balance just to make sure it's nice and smooth. Alright we have a FASCI X4R receiver. We're all connected up. Programmed up. I'm just going to Calibrate the ESC. Props rotating in the correct direction. Uh, what do I do now? That's all going well. Dynamic balance now. That's the spot, that's good. Now for a current test. drawing well over 30 amps. Now to work out the centre of gravity I believe it's these little dots here. There's the CG CG but I believe these dots in front here are the actual CG marks. So ignore that go for the dot in front. I have to have the battery up about here uh, this is just for the Maiden, without any FPV gear on it. Get my hands on those dots. That's balancing nicely with the 2200 3S right up in the nose there. So now I'm gluing the magnets on to uh, hold the hatch on and I'm going to tape them as well just to try and keep them from falling off or pulling off. Let's see how we've gone. Have we gotten the right way around? Lovely. That's pretty good, but I'll probably 
secure them down. Oh, that's not too bad. That's good. And we'll do the same for the nose. So I've glued all the magnets on for the nose. I don't know if I'm that happy about how secure that is. So it's pretty good. Oh, it grabs all right, actually. I'll keep it simple for the maiden. No FPV gear or anything. I might pop a camera on there. I've just taped these little hatches on fairly roughly. I might put some tape along the leading edge for a bit of protection. That's balancing pretty well there. I'd better see what the all-up weight is. All-up weight is about 750 grams, which is reasonably light. That's good. With a 3S 2200 battery in it. Here it is all finished, the Sonic model HD wing. Very slick, fast looking wing. Doesn't weigh too much in this configuration, so time to go for a fly.